one here. All right, welcome everybody to today's healthy cooking demo. Uh, our topic today is healthy Halloween treats for the family. We've got Jordan Setzer. She is a dietetic intern with the Department of Nutrition and Family Sciences here at UCA. Thank you so much, Jordan, for being here again today um, to show us all these yummy treats for Halloween. Um, Be Well participants, you can get five lifestyle rewards for viewing this session. I will share information at the end for how to claim your five points. And um, we will, of course, share recipes. Um, and at the very end, I'll share just a very quick survey link to let Jordan know how she did today. So without further ado, I'm gonna hand it over to Jordan. Thank you, Mariah. Hello, everyone. It's good to see some familiar faces. Um, if I haven't met you before, like she said, I'm Jordan and I'm so excited to be with you here for the second Be Well Food Demo. Um, I'm really excited about next month. Next month is gonna be Thanksgiving themed, but this month is Halloween themed. So obviously from the weather outside, we can tell that it's finally October. And if we were just talking about how excited we are about that and the weather cooling down, sweaters are coming out. And one of my favorite things is Halloween. So the costumes and the candy are so fun for Halloween, but sometimes Halloween can scare our blood sugars and our health a little bit um, if we don't keep them under control, keep our uh, choices under control. So today I'm just going to be going over some fun, healthy options for your children, for parties, um, and just for your own lunches and snacks. Okay, so let's get started. Um, the first thing we're going to make today are monster wraps. So this is a fun option for um, sandwiches, Sorry, I'm gonna share my screen for a second. Okay, so this is a fun option for sandwiches. Um, and for your kids, you can add, this is a good way to sneak in proteins and vegetables or make it simple with just uh, peanut butter and jelly. But in your packets that Mariah will be sending out to you, there's, there are a couple of more options than what I'm using today. But today we have with us hummus, spinach, rotisserie chicken, cucumbers, and bell peppers. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is take the hummus, take about one to two tablespoons of hummus and spread it toward the bottom of the wrap. Wraps are kind of tricky. If you can get, if you get too much, they can't close or they could spill out. So just make sure you don't overfill your tortilla. And what I have here today is a spinach tortilla. It's green, uh, and this will be great with our monster wrap. But you can also use just a regular tortilla. I'm going to add some spinach and just layer it on there with the other vegetables. I usually use around two to three bell peppers, depending on their size. And bell peppers are great. They have vitamins A and C, which are great for your immune system and for cell reproduction. Um, and they're also great for dips. So if you are like me and love chips, this is a great alternative um, to chips as well. And then our cucumbers have vitamin K, which is good for blood clotting. And they're great with dips as well. Then finally, we have rotisserie chicken. Um, this is super easy if you want to just stop by the store and you're short on time. Or you can just grill chicken or add a, a choice protein, another choice protein like tuna or pork. Okay, so now that we have this, I'm gonna take the sides, this is the tricky part. I'm gonna take the sides, fold them in, and then take the bottom, and we're just gonna fold it like a burrito. Takes a lot of skill. <laughs> okay. Okay. 
So now that we have our wrap here, we are going to arrange the monster face. You can use any cheese that you would like, but we're just using American here today. And you don't have to eat it. This is just for fun. But again, we notice that when we make fun things out of just your plain Jane foods like a wrap, um, kids are more likely to eat it or we might get more excited about things. But I'm going to cut this in half and I have one side that's going to be the hair so I'm going to cut like little triangles for the hair and set this to the side and then this is going to be our mouth. So I'm just gonna cut a long strip like this and then smaller pieces. Super quick and easy. And then we're just gonna set this to the side, okay? And over here we have our olives that I've already sliced, but I just took an olive and sliced it like this for our eyes. Okay, so now that we have that all done, I'm going to take my wrap and I'm going to place the hair on the top. And then just arrange the mouth <laughs> however you choose. <laughs> This kind of looks like Frankenstein. And then we'll take two of the olives and place it as eyes. And then we'll take two whole olives and attach them to the side with paper, with paper clips, with toothpicks. For Frankenstein's bolts. This also helps hold the wrap together. So now we have our monster wraps. Okay. So again, like I said, I included um, multiple different fillings. That was a very easy um, option for a wrap, but you guys can choose whatever you enjoy eating, um, trade out different vegetables. All right, just watched my hands. Okay, so during Halloween and fall and even just the rest of the cold months, um, we are surrounded by different sugars and candies that are not helpful to our health and can, can be very scary to our blood sugars. Um, so today I've, I'm, gonna use a different option for your candies and your sugars that you usually provide at parties. Um, but we're just gonna use fruit. Fruit is a great way to sub the sugar that you, can, that you often crave. Um, it comes with fiber and different vitamins and minerals that are very healthy for us and helpful to our um, bodies and our cells. So, Today we are going to be making ghost fruit kebabs. The, this recipe is in your booklet as well. When you're looking for fruit, um, you wanna make sure that you choose your fresh fruits because these will have more fiber than your dried and your canned fruits. Um, so fresh, frozen are always great, but just make sure that you that you um, check good labels and um, make sure that the added sugars aren't 
there or if they are there that they're pretty low, okay? So we will be making ghost fruit kebabs. Like I said, the fruits that we have here today are strawberries, cantaloupe, bananas, and blueberries. All of these fruits are low glycemic um, or low GI. Has anybody heard of this before? Low GI foods. Okay, well, it sounds complicated, but pretty much we categorize different kinds of foods um, according to their GI or their glycemic index. And what this tells us is how quickly they are able to spike our blood sugar or if they slowly raise it. So the lower they are in number on the glycemic index, the more gradual they raise our blood sugars. So these three fruits are low glycemic index fruits. Um, some high fruits, high GI fruits are things like green grapes or pineapple, um, but you can use any fruits that you want, but these are great. Okay. So what I have here today are two wooden skewers, a banana, blueberries, cantaloupe, and strawberries. So what I'm going to do, and you guys have probably done this before, if you've ever hosted a party, I'm going to arrange the fruit in different layers. And our bananas are gonna be our ghosts today. So if you guys um, don't like bananas, you can use marshmallows, but a great option for ghosts is a banana. Okay, so I'm just gonna place this right here. All right, by taking your banana, before we put it on the kebab, it's gonna be a little tricky if it's on there and sliding around while we try to put on the face. But our bananas are gonna be our ghosts. And all we're gonna do is press two chocolate chips into the banana like this. <laughs> and this is fun for people of all ages, but especially for kids. It's a good way to get good fruit in them. There you go. So that is our ghost fruit kebabs and our monster wrap. So we've done two different healthy options um, that you can have at parties, or like I said, you can prepare for your kids' lunches or for your own lunches. But now let's talk about some of our more prevalent things during Halloween. Did you guys know that $2.6 billion is spent on candy every single year just for trick-or-treaters? Is that not crazy? Yeah, so our goal is, is to get, not take away all the candy, but to easily substitute some healthy options for the kids that they'll enjoy and that can get them started at a young age, um, introduced into healthy foods. Okay. So what I have here are what we call mummy, um, mummy <laughs> snacks, sorry. So these can, you can hand out to trick-or-treaters instead of candy. Um, and they're inexpensive and you don't have to make anything. They're super easy to make. All that's required are googly eyes, double-sided tape, masking tape, and then any packaged snack that you choose. So we used applesauce, goldfish, and raisins. And I'm going to demonstrate how to make these using a box of raisins. here. Okay, so you have your box of raisins and you're just going to start wrapping the box with masking tape. It's super easy. Anyone can do it. You can even 
have your kids help you with this. So like anything that we have made today, this would be an awesome opportunity for you to get them involved in the kitchen, getting to know um, fruits and vegetables, have them make, help you make meals. Um, just to, what's the word? Just to give them more options um, than what they're used to getting, so. Okay, so we've just wrapped that in masking tape and now we're gonna use double-sided tape there and place two googly eyes on the front. Like that, super easy <laughs> and super fun, okay. And lastly today we have what's we, what we like to call a witch's hand. So you can put a spider ring on this um, or whatever you want, but these are so fun to hand out as party favors for your kids' parties or even for your, your guest parties. But we just, all we did was fill it with popcorn and place a candy corn at each finger um, to mimic a witch's hand. So super cute, super easy. So some other ways that you can um, make meals for the season are included in your packets. And I've also included some websites on um, one of the pages so that you can research your own, but there are tons of other ways to celebrate um, and get your children involved and your grandchildren involved and control our blood sugars. But this Halloween season does not have to be scary for our blood sugar or for um, our health in general. If we just plan and um, be creative and use fruits and vegetables to our advantage. So thank you guys for um, attending and just being a great audience. Um, I look forward to having you next time at um, the Thanksgiving one. What are you saying? Thank you. Are there any questions? Did I see a question? No, 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 no. Okay, sorry. Uh, Jordan, you did a great job. These are really fun. I look forward to doing some of these with my kids at home. Um, we've got uh, a link to the recipes in the chat, but I'll also email those to you. But if you want them right away, some folks are going to the grocery store after work and they and they want to buy everything they need. So I put a link in the chat. Um, it's a wonderful booklet. Jordan and Dr. Landry did a phenomenal job. It's it's really, really pretty cute. Check it out. There's great graphics and pictures and inspiration. And um, I've also put a session evaluation link in the chat. It just takes a couple of minutes. This is such a great way to provide valuable feedback to um, Jordan. She's a student and so she's learning. Um, so this gives her um, great feedback for um, what she did great and anything that you have in terms of uh, need for improvement. I thought you did a great job though, Jordan. <laughs> um, if there's nothing else, I think we'll adjourn and we'll stay on for just a few moments in case you think of any questions. Thank you all for joining us today. Oh, and I'll put in your, hold on, before we, hold on, I, I forgot. Let me give you your lifestyle rewards because that's really important and I always forget at the end. If you want to just take a quick screenshot or a snip, screen grab, however you want to do it, photo on your cell phone, you can load this up to your account to get your five lifestyle rewards. You can do this even if you're watching this recorded on YouTube to get your five points. If you have any questions about this, just uh, shoot me an email or give me a call. UCA be well at uca.edu will uh, be the way to get me on email. All righty. Thank you all. Have a great afternoon. Thank you.